kids, it's Rachel here with Sons of Tempo County Corso. You guys go get some water. So I'm here at the dog park um, with my babies. I've got Koa, Nirvana, Zoe, and Preacher here. And we've been doing some training with Koa. We filmed it with my camera that Savannah's holding. Hopefully it turns out well. We're not exactly sure yet if we were doing good filming because it has a weird like blue LED thing in it. Yeah, it's like the, I think there's just the sun and all that stuff. I don't know, but we tried. Um, and so, anyway, so we have Koa here and uh, just really trying to teach him some respect. Um, keep a real close eye on that. Don't let that fall down. Yeah, make him sit. Good. There you go. Um, so, yeah, Koa is finally looking a lot better. He's lost quite a bit of weight. His training is, well, he doesn't have any. Oh, look at that. Preacher! Nirvana, leave it! Nirvana, leave it! So, come on! Hmm. No problem. Preacher! Come. Poor baby. Are you alright? Are you alright, hon? Did she bite you? Did you bite your butt? Uh, you alright? No, it was her. She bit her butt. I saw her. Oh, well, she's just looking a little weird. Never a dull moment. Uh, uh, um, so, uh, some people might remember in the live... Was it the live stream that I was talking about the Aussies? I don't, I don't remember if it was a live stream or not. But I was talking about um, the Aussies. Preacher, come! And, no, they're not all like that. I don't know why that dog did that. <laughs> he has like a death wish. <laughs> hey there. Um, hey, Biggins. Hey there, Biggins. Oh, look at her. Do you see Zoe? She's just like, Hi. What kind of dogs do you have? Uh, they're kind of Corso. Oh, Italian wow. Mastiffs. You're all right, Nirvana. You're all right. You're all right. <clears throat> You want some water? Let me get you some water. Come on. Um, yeah. So, anyway, the last time I was here, there were some Aussies that were fence fighting. There was a couple on this side and a couple on the other side over here. And I came up and I asked the people to get their dogs to stop fence fighting because it was riling up all the other dogs. And um, I was having a really hard time controlling Valak and Mad Mortigan because they wanted to correct that energy because dogs that run in packs, that have packs, know that that kind of energy is not healthy, so they will try to um, correct that energy. And the ladies flipped out on me and were like, our dogs do this all the time, blah, 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 this and this and that. And so... As soon as those Aussies came in, the one that literally just challenged my dogs, as soon as those dogs came in, they started fence fighting immediately. And I was filming it with my other camera. Um, hopefully, it, it, the, the camera was acting weird, so I'm just hoping that I got it on film. But um, but anyway, I've tried to express to people that just because just because a fight doesn't happen doesn't mean it won't happen. It doesn't mean that the energy is not unhealthy. And a lot of people think that because the fight hasn't happened yet, that it means that it's not going to, and that's not true. So, um, so anyway, but when I have dogs like these, dogs that I, these dogs I can trust, um, these dogs I can call off, so it's a little bit different than if I was to have Valak and, um, Mad Mortigan here, which they're just puppies and they're, um, a little bit more, they're just harder to control. So they need that one-on-one -on -one individual attention that I haven't um, given to them yet in this setting. So I have to, I can only, when I'm doing training like that, I can only work with one dog at a time. And so right now we're working with Koa. And so that's, that's the dog we're working with. Um, and personally, I don't bring my dogs to dog parks all the time. And so I, you know, for me, I don't need all my dogs to be okay with that. I can, you know, if I, if I want to come do a dog park video, I'll bring my dogs that I know will be fine. I don't need for every dog to be okay. 
But um, Koa, for example, I'm bringing him because he needs just basic training. Uh, he is a bit of a bully. Um, he doesn't want to listen to any training. He doesn't want to do what he's told. He's very high energy. He's disrespectful. He invades body space. Um, and so he really needs to have this kind of experience because I need to put him in an environment like this so that I can work on those issues. And so, um, so that's why I'm working with him now. Plus I want to show him. And so it's better for me to kind of have him out here where I can work with him. So, um, so that's what we're doing. Um, but in the meantime, um, we're, you know, filming and getting other stuff taken care of. Look at that. It's like a, looks like a pug. Like a chihuahua pug, maybe. No. I saw. So the woman who was here the last time with her corso is here now. Savannah was pointing it out. I saw her. Um, you know, it's 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 kind of hard. I I will say this. It's hard for me because on one end, I um, I don't ever want to have a negative experience with a subscriber. Obviously, like my subscribers are my typically supporters, and um, and so. I want people, I want to be able to have a positive experience, like for example, so there's those Aussies fence fighting again, just, just for reference. Um, so anyway, so I uh, actually met up with um, some, uh, not met up with, but whenever I got here, there were some, uh, I'll come over there. So I, there was actually some of my subscribers here today. And it was a really positive experience. They came up, they said hi, they brought their pack over, and it was really positive. Uh, there was no issues with the dogs, and uh, that's really what I love to have happen. I love to be able to have a really positive experience. Their dogs were very well trained. They listened. Everything was great. It was wonderful. And then you have other experiences sometimes where people walk up and the dog is, it's not good, like the time that that Corso was messing with Mad Mortigan. And it's like that my my job is to film reality you know what I mean preacher leave it and as much as I don't want to have that negative experience I the point is to educate and so um and so I can't not film I can't not put that on on my channel because that's what my channel is that's that's what I do I film behavior and so as much as I hate the fact that that may have been embarrassing for her. That may not have been a very positive experience for her. She may hate me now. Um, I hate that. I really do. Um, but I don't really have... Like, that's... It, it's a teaching moment for everybody else. You know what I mean? And and I'm not responsible for the way that another dog treats my dogs. And so I just film reality. I film what happens. I talk about it. And sometimes that doesn't always make other people's dogs look good and as as much as i understand that that is not um maybe a positive experience i completely understand that and i empathize with her on that i also think that one person's emotions and experience isn't isn't worth everybody else losing a teachable moment and so um you know Ideally, in that situation, I would have loved for her to, you know, maybe come up and like, you know what, I, I, I'm sorry. I realize, you know, my dog's, you know, attacked or my dog attacked your dog. Blah blah blah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna work on it. You know what I mean? Like, but not everybody's like that. It, you kind of have to be the kind of person that's able to admit that you're wrong, and want to to be better in order to um, be able to think like that. You know? And so when people are prideful and they um, preach or leave it. Not yours? Preacher, not yours. Um, oh, he's just going to smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> he might knock it over for all I know. All right. Um, thank you. And so um, when a person is prideful or whatever, then it, it, it kind of... Mm, maybe not prideful is the wrong word. Maybe they're just um, embarrassed. I don't know. What the, I don't know what it is. Good job, Savannah. Um, but I do know that it's that, you know, she basically you know, didn't want um, to, to communicate with us or make any kind of on contact or anything like that. And like I said, completely understand it. I, um, 
I don't, I don't, I'm not mad or anything like that. I just wish that it could have been a more positive experience because I, I hate to have negative experiences with, with people, anybody, let alone, um, subscribers. So, um, so anyway, yeah. So, and to the people that met, uh, that saw us today, um, you know, I, I want y'all to know how much I loved having a positive experience and how uh, impressed I am with y'all's dogs. Y'all had great dogs. They had um, a Great Dane, a Shepherd, and a Doberman. I think they had two Shepherds, possibly, and a Doberman. Yeah, I think they had four dogs. So, um, psh, let's not meet face to face. Psh, 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 psh. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. <clears throat> Oh, you guys! No, 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 that was mean. That dog wasn't doing anything. To it's you. all right. It's all right. Come on. Let's go. <clears throat> I think Nirvana's kind of on edge because of yeah. dogs. So I noticed that the boxer wanted some. When dogs stay in each other's faces, it's a problem. Dogs don't get to know each other from face to face. They get to know each other from face to rear. So when you have two dogs that are focusing too much on each other's faces, it's better to interrupt that. So I used my body to get in between um, Koa and the boxer. Um, and the boxer's probably responding to the fact that Koa doesn't have good energy, I'll be honest with you. So I can't really judge the boxer for it. Um, Koa's fine now, but he does have bad energy, which is why he's here, so that we can work on it. And, um, when you have a dominant dog like Koa here, um, which he is, other dogs that, that are dominant as well, uh, will want to come over and dominate that dog. And so, it makes sense as to what we're seeing there, but... I still have to um, interrupt it. And then, of course, Nirvana was responding to the energy. So that bulldog had been over here before. It wasn't a problem. But Nirvana was picking up on the fact that the boxer had um, a more dominant energy. And so she began to kind of um, get defensive of this space because of that. But once again, I don't blame the boxer. The boxer is just responding to Koa's energy, which is not a good energy. So, um, just like if a human being was staring at you directly in the eyes from a yeah. like, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess. So, so, um, and this all normal behavior, there is no good dog, bad dog here. It's normal behavior, it's dog behavior, and it's important that everybody realize that it isn't a criticism, it's not personal, it's not a judgment, it's just we got to get this stuff taken care of, which is exactly why we're getting Koa taken care of. Preacher, leave it. Shh. So he was watching that dog because that dog was pacing around, um, kind of growling at the fence line. Um, so anyway, so Koa, you know, he's in training. He's being worked with. Um, I'm going to be doing some one-on-one -on -one training with him, especially now that his eye is actually looking better. And, um, you know, I'm going to switch him over to a choke collar, a chain link choke collar. Uh, that's my personal favorite for working with a dog like him. And, um, and I'll do uh, what I always talk about doing, which is I do 15 minutes a day at the minimum three times a week of just straight obedience with a dog like this. That's, the, that's my starting off point is 15 minutes a day of just obedience. So I won't take him on a walk. I'll take him out onto the property and, um, and I'll just do sit stay lay down and then i'll walk one way and i'll walk another way and i'll do it kind of quickly that way he has to stay focused on me and i will do that until he's a well-oiled machine and um and then i'll start you know continue with the training here like bringing him out where there's distractions where there's other dogs like home depot where i was at where people want to pet him all the distractions making sure that he listens to me no matter what is going on yeah i take do dogs to sixth street yeah we do all kinds of stuff to really ensure that the dogs are um, responsive in any situation and it you have to have control like that over a dog this big uh, otherwise it's a danger to you um, and to the people around you because that dog could knock you down um, they could injure you just by you falling and um, and of course they could injure another dog so all of these things really matter they're very important so that's why we're doing all that um, so yeah so um, huh yeah, so it, and it happens that way. So whenever I start filming, I get two kinds of people. Um, well, that's not true. I get a couple different kinds of people. So some of them stay and watch and they try to talk um, while, I'm, while I'm doing it. Other ones, um, they kind of do this thing where they act like they're not listening. They kind of hover and I can tell they're listening, which I don't care. I just ignore it. They just like look 
Yeah, they just kind of like slow, like they either stop walking and they just kind of like look like they're staring at the ground. Um, or they do the real slow walk, um, which is fine. I don't care. Um, and then some people, they just get up and walk away. They get upset and they get up and walk away. And, and that's fine. All that's fine. Uh, I'm not here for them. I'm here for you guys. So um, somebody asked me one time, they were like, is it awkward? And I'll be honest with you. Initially, yes, it was. I used to try to be really incognito about it. I was really embarrassed. Um, but now I'm not because what I've realized is that these videos are extremely important for all of my subscribers. I can't tell you how many people contact me because of all of the stuff that they've learned in being able to identify behavior and um, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, um, you see Preacher completely ignoring. He's being a good boy. Uh, oops. So yeah, so Preacher was non-responsive, completely ignored that dog, which is exactly how I want him to be. He's a real good dog. Um, and um structure so anyway um <clears throat> so yeah so um like i said it's really important for everybody else who isn't here to be able to learn so if i inconvenience or annoy a person and they walk away from me and move to a different side of the park totally fine whatever it's one person they get, can have their opinion it is it's whatever um i t to me it's like how many people does it benefit versus how many people might may it annoy? Well, there's way more people that it benefits than maybe the few that might get annoyed because I'm filming their dogs misbehaving. And, and you know what? Maybe it might make them realize that they need to get their dogs in check. Maybe they might start taking their dog's behavior seriously and realizing that, um, that it, it could, you know, embarrass them or something. I don't know. Um, Oh, really? She grabbed onto the back of it and it turned around and tried to bite her. And then oh. she grabbed onto another dog. Oh, another wow. Dog. And I'm like, oh. and the parents are just sitting there laughing. Wow, yeah. Yeah. I was taught never to get a dog's face, never to just grab a dog. You're supposed to smell your hand. They yeah. are aggressive and walk away. Yeah. Yeah. I've always taught Savannah to pay attention to body language, things like that. Um, it's important so your kid doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so anyway, I've even thought about, um, you know, like I said, I've, 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 I've thought about all these things and the reality is, 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 uh, cause I used to just not come to the dog park. I used to allow the people that would get angry to affect whether or not I came or not. And now I don't. Now it's just like, look, if you don't like the fact that I'm filming your dog being aggressive, that's a personal problem. If you don't like it, you need to fix the dog. Um, you need to do your, your due diligence and train your dog. Otherwise it's going to be out there, you know, and a lot of people don't know that I'm a YouTuber. They don't know who I am or what I'm doing. Um, sometimes people do like the people that we met today that walked up and, um, you know, said they wanted to, um, been watching me for years, shook my hand. They were very nice. Um, yeah. Well, and I love that. Like nothing makes me prouder than to get to meet one of my subscribers and they have well-trained dogs. I love that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I absolutely love that because those are, that's, you know, like I'm, I hope that those are the kinds of people that I'm reaching. And if your dog is not well-trained, it's not the end of the world. It's just, you got to do it. You know what I mean? That's it. You just, you just got to do it. You got to figure it out. You got to do it. And if it's not well-trained, then you can't get mad whenever, um, you know, whenever that, you know, gets seen. So there's those, there's those same fence fight Aussies, man. That's exactly what happened the last time we were here. And, um, they were fence fighting with a bunch of other Aussies and I got onto the owners for it. I asked them to, ah, 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 no, Psh, hey, see, and this is exactly what happened. Ah, 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 no, Zo, Zo, come now. And that's exactly what happened last time is that Valak and Mad Mortigan decided that they didn't like that energy. They were going to get onto those dogs, um, because they recognize what it is and, um, preacher, leave it now. Zo, come. Zo, come. And, and they won't stop. You see this guy, he's not going to do anything about his dogs doing this. Yeah, he's not going to do anything about it. And it's really frustrating to me, and I know better than to walk up and ask them. So I've, I'll have these people all the time. Zo, ah, 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 Zo, I'll have these people. Psh, no, Zo, no, no. 
No. Shh. No. No. So, um, I'll have these people that ask me, why don't you go up and talk to them? Why are you just sitting here judging them? Why won't you get up and talk at them? Why don't I, Savannah? Uh, first of all, they're very defensive about it. Yeah. And then they'll yell at her. They'll be like, yeah. no. I'm not gonna correct my dog because yeah, yeah they yell at me and say that it's my that my dogs are the problem. <laughs> that that as long as preacher leave it, come now, now move, let's go all the way over. And so because of the fact that um, his dog, like so, his dogs are not fighting. Well, they did attack my dogs in the beginning of the video, but nonetheless, they well they started a fight with my dogs, I should say. But um, because his dogs aren't fighting, because they're not really, you know, it's not a fight fight, he's not going to do anything about it. Um, he's seen his dogs behaving badly the whole time, and he just sits there with his hands on his waist, just doing absolutely nothing about it. Riling up all the dogs in the dog park, causing problems, and he's not going to do anything about it. And, um... Yeah, no, he's not going to do anything about it. He just, he, he does, Zoe. ah, ah, Zoe. Psh, hey, Zoe. 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 That's a bad dog. You better listen, woman. Put her in submissive posture real quick. Yep, I got him. And so it's up to me to basically have an, an even higher level of control over my dogs. Um... Because if I don't, then his dogs will get injured by my dogs. No you know what I mean? And um, and so anyway, so we're probably going to leave now simply because I don't want to keep messing with my dogs over it. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. And um, you know what I mean? It's not, my dogs aren't doing anything wrong. They're just being um, Corsos. They, Corsos have a high prey drive. Those dogs have, um, their energy is not okay for this area. Uh, and I could continue to keep getting on to my dogs, but I prefer not to because they really are only trying to help. They're trying to extinguish an energy that is unhealthy for the dog park. And, um, and I can't fault them for that because they're, they're, they're just doing what they would do at my property. Um, so, um, so anyway, so I'm going to end this and I hope that you guys have a great day and we'll talk at you later. Bye. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, Nirvana.